What's up everyone, welcome to this episode of Untamed Talk Q&A video series where I answer your questions from YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. If you wanna leave a question for future Untamed Talk uh, videos, go ahead and post it down below in the comment section of this video or any of the Untamed Talk videos. Uh, so a couple of announcements. I know I have not been very active lately on YouTube. It's because I've been very busy and blah, 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 blah. But this month, I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos. So just to give you guys a preview of what I got planned, some how-to videos that I've got, uh, how to snatch, how to push press and jerk, how to load an atlas stone, how to make an atlas stone, and how to continental clean. Uh, I'm gonna do some more cooking videos, and I've got a bunch of miscellaneous videos that I wanna get to you guys. Uh, one about breathing, butt wink, and low back pain while squatting. Uh, I'm gonna give you my opinion of ripito squats and starting strength. I wanna make a video about recovery, how many days a week you should be lifting, uh, I will make a video about my conditioning, possibly a video about jumping and explosive movement, and I'd like to make a video, if I have time, about my road to a 500 pound squat. Next, for those of you who have been asking about shoulder pain, I made a great video about this. It's not on my channel, it's not gonna be on my channel. It's over on Omar Esop's channel, so go check it out. I'll put the link to that video in the description area of this video. Lastly, and then we'll get on to the questions. For those of you who have been following me, you know that a few weeks ago I did my first Olympic weightlifting meet. Uh, I posted a video of it on this channel, but for those of you who want a little more in-depth story behind everything, uh, who want some more commentary, I wrote an article about it. It's on my website. You can check it out. I'll put a link up in the right-hand corner of this video. All right, so the format for this video is gonna be a little bit different than the past Untamed Talk videos. Uh, we tried to record these uh, answers a couple of weeks ago when I was lifting, but the audio was off and we were having some problems, so we just abandoned ship. Uh, but I did still record some of my training, which wasn't a whole lot of anything. I was just messing around with some strongman equipment. It was right after my Olympic weightlifting meet. Uh, but this video will be sprinkled with uh, some of my training videos, um, some of my training footage. So anyways, uh, before I start, realize that some of these questions are old, uh, they were asked quite a while ago, but I have a whole bunch of questions to answer and it takes time to answer them. So it is what it is. First question comes from John Ziovas. This guy has a really long uh, comment or question, but essentially what he's saying is he can front squat better than he can back squat. Why is this? Is this even possible? Yes, John, it's obviously possible if you just said you can front squat better than you can back squat. So it is possible. What I'm assuming it is, is a balance issue. When you squat down, you tend to want to fall backwards. And having a front-loaded squat or having weight in front of you is going to help maintain that balance. It's going to be a counterbalance. Um, so that's why the front squat feels more comfortable for you. Um, and what happens when you back squat, you in particular, you might back squat and it feels like you're going to fall backwards. So what you do to counter the, uh, that is to lean forward. Now the barbell is over the center of your foot, over your toes, and your squat sucks. It looks ugly. Um, so your, your front squat feels much better and looks much better. So it's going to be a balance issue. Um, it could be ankle mobility. I feel like that's uh, what everyone blames everything on is ankle mobility, but it could be that your ankles are very tight. Um, it could be that you're pointing your toes forward uh, rather than slightly out. You might want to drive your knees out to keep your body a little more upright um, so you're not falling forward or backwards. Um, it could be thoracic spine, upper back mobility. There's a whole bunch of things to be causing that, but it's your balance is the reason your front squat feels more comfortable than your back squat. All right, this next question comes from Riga Nation. I have trouble getting the weight off the floor when I deadlift. Locking out my hips is no problem. How do I fix this? Um, it could be your positioning. Uh, you might be sitting your butt down too low, putting you at a disadvantage. Um, but if it's not this, if your positioning is perfectly uh, 
set so that the barbell is over the center of your foot, shoulder blades are over the bar, and you're pulling the barbell in a straight line, um, and it's actually a strength issue. My favorite uh, assistance exercises to start, to start incorporating are uh, deficit deadlifts. When you do these, it doesn't take much. A couple of inches of deficit uh, is fine. Um, do not overcompensate by changing your position. Don't sit your butt down really low. Try to keep uh, as uh, close to your positioning from the floor as you can. Um, so deficit deadlifts, I might also suggest pause deadlifts to where you pull the barbell off the floor, uh, one, two inches, you hold it there, and then you drive the barbell up. Really overload that sticking point. Um, and lastly, I would suggest heavy, paused, front squats to really build up your quads um, from that static position, no bounce, because your quads are the prime mover for most people in the deadlift uh, off the floor. Next question comes from Andrew Richardson. Hey, I was considering starting to power lift. How much weight should I be able to do on the big three before I should enter a competition? There are no standards. You don't have to wait. You can do a competition tomorrow. You pick your own weight. So if you want to squat 100 pounds, you can squat 100 pounds. You pick your own weight. Um, especially if it's your first competition, you're not competing against anyone but yourself. So you pick your own numbers. There is no standard that you should be at uh, before you start a competition. I've seen 80 year old women compete and deadlift 90 pounds. So there is no strength standard if you want to compete in powerlifting. All right, next question comes from John Harmon. Whenever I put a bar on my back to squat, I get an instant headache. Have you ever heard about this problem? If so, what can I do to fix it? Um, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know exactly what's going on with you. <clears throat> there might be a serious problem that you need to get checked out. Um, don't go to YouTube for medical uh, diagnosis. Um, but let me tell you a story. So back when I was in high school, my football coach took me and the other football, uh, the other team captains, and he took us to a high school, one of the best high schools in the area. And we trained, we lifted weights with them for one day during summer camp. Uh, when I got in there, I didn't know what exactly the workout was. I just knew uh, we were gonna squat. So I got into a rack, I was squatting. Um, my brother was with me, uh, he was behind me spotting me. And I think I had something like 275 on the bar. And I was squatting it, I don't remember how many reps I planned on doing, but I was squatting it and I got to five reps. And all of a sudden the entire team gathers around me and they're all yelling and screaming and they're going, you got 15 more, come on, 15 more, don't drop that bar. And I remember looking in the mirror at my brother behind me and saying, 15? And apparently the workout was super squats. So they thought that I should do 20 reps with 275. Um, so anyways, uh, I was not, in that weight room with all that teenage testosterone, I was not about to drop the weight. So I said, all right, I'm gonna finish this. And I did not have the ability to do 275 for 20 reps at that time. Um, so I just was grinding these reps out as hard as I could. My brother was behind me spotting me. He's, he's underhooking me like this and he's pretty much deadlifting me up, lifting probably all the weight. And uh, as I'm squatting, I am like straining so hard and I'm looking up and I'm bending my neck like this. Um, and anyways, once we finished and we finally racked the bar, I sat down and it felt like a truck ran my head over. I got the worst and quickest migraine, the most pressure in my head that I've ever experienced. And it affected me for the rest of the day. I couldn't even see straight. I must, I probably did something pretty bad. Um, and the next day I remember my head being extremely sore. And for a few weeks after that, anytime that I exerted any type of uh, force, any, anytime I tried to lift or do anything, um, I would get this, this headache again. Even when I was jumping rope, um, I would get this headache. Um, so I took a few weeks off uh, and didn't really experience it. Several years later, I got it again doing 20 rep squats. I was doing the super squat program and I remember getting this uh, 
the same exact feeling, this headache. And I went to the internet and I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on with me. Um, and I came across exertion headaches. Um, so I read a little bit about it and in it, it talks about breathing uh, and it talked about neck positioning. So anytime you put your, you hyperextend your cervical spine while you're deadlifting or while you're uh, squatting uh, for a lot of reps or if at all, um, you're cutting off a lot of blood flow into your head and once you put it back to a neutral position, um, the pressure in your head becomes so intense and the nerves around your brain are so sensitive that it's just this excruciating migraine headache um, and it sucks, it's miserable. So uh, after I, I heard about this, I went to super squat the next day and uh, I made sure to take five breaths in between each squat. I was not in a rush. I, was, I would sit there with the bar on my back, five breaths and I would keep my spine neutral. I kept it completely neutral while I was squatting and I still do that today. I've never ever gotten an exertion headache since then. Um, so it could be your breathing, it could be your neck positioning, um, or you could have some serious problem that I don't know about. So hopefully that helps. Keep your cervical spine in a neutral position. You should never hyperextend your lumbar spine and you should never hyperextend your cervical spine. So there you go. All right, this next question comes from Mousy. What are your thoughts on low carb training? Can I still gain strength and build muscle while on a low carb or no carb diet with once weekly carb refeeds? Um, I don't think that no carb training or low carb training is good for strength. It's more of a bodybuilding aesthetic thing uh, because you're trying to lose fat. So power lifters, most power lifters don't worry about cutting down carbs to an extreme degree or cutting out carbs, um, unless maybe they're dropping weight for a weigh-in or something like that, but um, for strength, you need carbs. And I'm speaking just from experience. Anytime, for whatever reason, I've cut out carbs or significantly reduced the amount of carbs that I've eaten, everything is affected. My mood is affected. Uh, my strength in the gym is affected. Um, I, my energy is down. So personally, no, I hate it. I don't like it. Carbohydrates are your primary source of energy. So when you eat carbs, your body's gonna utilize those carbs for energy. Um, if you're not eating carbs at all, your body's gonna use the protein that you're eating to fuel itself. Um, so instead of using that protein for uh, building muscle and doing all kinds of other functions that it does. So I wouldn't suggest it, and I wouldn't look at what, the, what top bodybuilders are doing. You know, They might be on a low carb, no carb diet, and they're still jacked but they've got steroids to help them maintain muscle mass. Uh, you don't, so your diet is extremely important. Um, that's just my opinion on it. This next question comes from Sauna Lochner. It hurts my back when I squat. What am I doing wrong? You're not breathing or bracing correctly. Too much movement in your lumbar spine, lumbar flexion. You're letting the bar path come forward over your toes rather than a straight line over midfoot. Your hips are shooting up in absence of the barbell and you're using your back to stand up straight. You're as mobile as a piece of glass you're not warming up correctly, or all of the above. 